All right, everybody, today we're going to be taking a look at the Snaptane SP650 4 axis drone. Now, uh, this is for ages 14 and up, by the way. This was sent out to me by Snaptane for a review, and I already flew it, so we're going to put the flight video in right after I show you what's in the box. It has your typical stuff, it, you know, your altitude hold, emergency stop, photo, video, flips. Uh, the gesture control, one key landing, one key return, headless mode, all that good stuff. I would put this in the category of a, um, a backyard flyer type of a deal. You know, it's kind of small, but it still flew really good. And just to let you know, the video, the battery life on the first charge of the battery was a little over 11 minutes. I might trim the video a little bit because it did seem like it was getting a little boring. But it did go over 11 minutes and that was on the first charge of the uh, 1000 milliamp hour battery. And they give you two batteries with it. So let's uh, take a look at that real quick. Okay, here we are out of the box. You get the quadcopter itself. It's a fine specimen. It's a nicely made toy, and it does fly good. You know, that's the thing about these snap tanes. I haven't had one of them that didn't fly well. You have a little micro SD card in here. I had, I had a 32 gigabyte one in there, so it'll at least hold that. There's your power button right there to turn it on and off. That's your battery compartment right there. There's your 1,000 milliamp hour battery goes in there. It's a JST connector, so you can find all kinds of batteries to use in that thing. And then there's the camera right there in the front, and it is tiltable manually. So you got that. Then they give you a set of prop guards, which, you know, I don't use those, but there they are. Then you get an extra spare, uh, an extra set of props. Get the phone holder. You get the complimentary screwdriver. You get the extra 1,000 milliamp hour battery, which is right here. You get two battery chargers. This is a thing Snaptane's been doing recently with their last shipment of quadcopters. They've been putting multiple batteries and multiple chargers in. And then you got a big pack of screws to um, hook on the uh, prop guards. And the camera on here, you can remove it if you want to fly it without the camera. You just press that in there, right there and slide it off and then unplug it right there. So if you wanted to get yourself a little bit more flight time, you could uh, remove that. And then you got your transmitter right here. And that's one of them, uh, these kind that I like actually, one of these clam shell things. So you just stick that in there like that and it just snaps on there. These are the kind SEMA uses a lot, so I kind of like these, to be honest with you. The name of the app on this is going to be called the Snaptane Nova, and you're going to see that right there, Snaptane Nova. So let's just turn it on real quick so you can see it in action. Here's the power button. Here's the power button for the... Now, if you want to calibrate the uh, gyro there, you just go down and to the right. See that? Okay, that's it. Then you go to the settings, go to Wi-Fi, and you're going to see it right there. Snap oh, it disappeared on me. Right there, Snaptane SP650. So you click on that. There's no password or anything like that. So it's connected now, and now we will go to the app. And right there is the app. And then you just hit start. Oh, and of course it's upside down. This is one of them ones that doesn't recenter. So you have to spin the phone around to get your orientation the way you want it. Unless you just want to spin the video around in the, in the software. So basically that's it. And if you wanted to fly it with the, the controls or, or fly it with the phone, you would hit that little on spot right there. 
and that'll put your joysticks up. But you know, we don't want to do that. Excuse me. Then you got your record button and all that stuff on here. Um, but all that stuff's on here too. Okay. So you got this one right here. You got for photo and video, take off land. Uh, it has this little spin um, maneuver where it does, you know, it spins around this 360 thing real fast, you know, like a big, uh, real fast yaw. And then it's got um, headless mode and uh, a one key return. And then the trim buttons are over here. Over here is the 3D flips and over here is the rate buttons. And all that stuff's on here too. So if you wanted to fly it with the phone, you could. You could not even use the transmitter. So, yeah, it's a, it's a decent unit. I flew it. It flies great. I didn't have any trouble with it at all. So, it's another winner from Snaptane. You know, they make great toy quad, 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 quadcopters. I mean, that's what they are. They're toys, but they're good toys. So, all right, guys, stay tuned for the flight video. Like I said, I might chop some of it out because it got a little long because the battery life was good. So, we might... Um, Chop that up a little bit. Oh, just let me show you this one thing on here, too. I forgot to mention up here in the corner There's your battery indicator for your quadcopter and then over there is your Wi-Fi strength for your signal And now I will tell you that the battery indicator uh, Does work, you know when uh, when I was flying it outside when it got down to two yellow bars It started, you know, it wouldn't flip anymore and so you knew it was it was getting ready to toast out so once it gets down to two yellow bars then you're going to know that it's it's going to be time to uh, start landing it now the only thing the only gripe i have with it and it's really not that major of a deal i was able to uh, do it was that it output it in avi format which is not friendly for iphone which is what i use to do my reviews you know to edit my videos and everything so i had to go convert the video from the SD card right there I had to convert the video to um, MOV format because it was an AVI format and iPhones uh, uh, iMovie doesn't deal with uh, AVI format but you know big deal okay so I was able to do it so it didn't degrade the quality or anything like that because I used a good converter so okay get ready for the flight and here it comes all right, everybody, we're out here today with the Snaptane SP650. Here it is. It's a beauty. Right there. This is the first time we're flying it. Now, I'm going to put the flight time in, but this is the first charge on this battery. It's a 1,000 milliamp hour battery we got in here. So, I think the um, uh, the flight time will probably be better as, uh, you know, it gets a few more charges in it. But we're going to... I'll put uh, the numbers in there for the flight time. Let me get some video started. Okay, so it says it's recording. So let's take off. There's the third right there. Ooh, it's a snappy sucker. Let's bring it down a little bit. Oh, I did something there. I didn't know that was the emergency stop. I held the speed button in a little bit and it just killed the motors. But hey, no big deal, right? It is what it is. I've got a terrible cold. Oh, I just hate those, especially when you're old like me. They, they're harder to get over. I'm gonna reset the gyro again, like that. Take off again. <laughs> Okay. 
Okay, let's try the second rate. The video is still recording, so we got a recording of the crash. Okay. There you go. Yeah, the second rate seems to be a little bit better for just flying, general purpose flying around. The third rate was a little jittery. Let's bring it over here and check the flips out. No, oh, it's trying to drift all over the place now. Let me get the Okay. There's not much wind. Okay, let's see how the flips work. Flips work great. And they go in all the directions too. Forward, backwards, left, right. So you got flips galore. Now it has this little zoom around feature we're going to try out here too. Let's try that. Oh, it does that crazy spinorama stuff. Okay. Hopefully that got on the video. Let's see that again. I get a little close up of that. Wow. Kind of crazy, huh? <laughs> okay, so let's check the return to home. Okay, that's far enough to try that out. Okay, let's try the return to home. Well, it started to do something and then kind of stopped, so I don't need it. The return home on these toy quads is a crapshoot. You never know what you're getting, okay? Okay, so far we've been going for 4 minutes and 33 seconds on the video. Yeah, it's just like all the other Snaptane squad companies. They all fly good. They're, they they make good toys, you know. I haven't had a lemon yet. We had the one that was kind of a little shaky, but they upgraded it and it worked out. That was the uh, folding one. I can't remember the number off the top of my head, but... I mean, it wasn't terrible, it just wasn't really good. A little bit of a breeze picking up here, that's why it stalled right there a little bit. Yeah, flies great, man. Flies great, no problem. Very nimble. Has very uh, accurate steering, you know. It's not floating around or anything. The steering's real tight. 
so you won't have any problems navigating it. And this is in the second rate. So I'm just trying to fly it in tight here so you can see it, you know. I don't think this is, you know, one of those range type deals. It's more like a backyard type quadcopter. Okay, let me check the video. Let me get back over here in the shade. I'm losing my shade. It's creeping away. Okay, so far the video's been going for 740. Wait a minute, it's drifting away on me. 7 minutes and 40 seconds so far of video. So we know the battery is going to last at least seven minutes and 40 well it's after it's over eight minutes now all right so we know it flies great so let's just ride out the battery Kind of got kind of hot all of a sudden today. Ugh. I thought it was supposed to be real cool. Wrong again. Okay, so the flight time on this thing is going to be really good. So we're up to 9.29 of video recording. I got to get back here in the shade a little bit. Now it's starting to show on the battery gauge that it's down into the yellow. So it's probably going to be crapping out here shortly. And the Wi-Fi signal is, is real strong. It shows that on there, too. But we're just going to let it ride here until the battery dies out. We're not going to interrupt that. I'm just going to wait to see what it does when the uh, low battery, if it just lands or tries to come back here or, you know, does something. Let's just wait it out. No, it won't flip. So the flip button's not working, so that means the battery's into, uh, you know, safe mode where it's going to stop here any second. Still hanging. Okay, I'm going to stop the video now at 11.30. Okay. So the video went about 11, 11 minutes and 30 seconds. So that's what the flight time was, 11.30.
and now that was on the first charge of the battery so I would bet you if I charge this thing and flew it out four or five times you're probably gonna wind up getting you know another couple of minutes out of it so you're probably looking at about well 13 14 minutes of flight time with this thing once the battery gets broke in so I think that's pretty decent to be honest with you all right there you go the Snaptane SP650 it's a legend it looks nice it's small but like I said it's great for the backyard great for the backyard right there perfect all right guys well my iPhone is in shutdown mode because of the heat all right guys have a nice day I'll talk to you later